Hello, in this video we're going to look at maximizing a consumer's utility by using calculus. Here is a consumer's utility function. X and Y represent good X and good Y. The consumer has $300 of income to spend on these goods. And let's say that the price of good X is $1 and the price of good Y is $2. We want to find the utility maximizing consumption bundle. Which combination of X and Y will give this consumer the largest utility possible subject to this constraint that you only have $300 to spend and the consumer faces these prices for good X and good Y. So the first thing we'll do is construct the budget constraint. So on the left-hand side, we have the consumer's income. In this case, it's $300. And that's going to equal the price of good X times units of good X. And since the price of good X is $1, we're just going to have 1X or X. And then we're going to add to that the price of good Y times units of good Y. So the price of good Y is $2, so it's just 2 times Y. So that is the consumer's budget constraint. The next thing we're going to do uh, which involves some calculus, is to get the marginal utility of good X and then the marginal utility of good Y. We'll start with the marginal utility of good X, which shows the change in utility from consuming one more unit of good X. It's going to be given as a partial derivative of the utility function with respect to good X. So we have good X here. We're going to bring down this one-third in front. So that's where this three is coming from. we got the one-third, or we're going to divide this all by three now. And then on this exponent on x, we're going to subtract 1, okay, for just following the rules of differentiation. So 1 third minus 1, and we don't have to do anything with the y variable. So just simplifying this a little bit, x to the 1 third power minus 1 is just x raised to the minus 2 thirds power. So that is the marginal utility of good x. To get the marginal utility of good y, a similar thing we're going to do, we're going to take the partial derivative of the utility function with respect to good y. And when we're doing that, we're holding good x constant in this case. So the exponent on the y term is going to come down in front. So that's where this 2 thirds is coming from now. And then we're going to subtract 1 from this exponent on the y term. So it's 2 thirds minus 1. And simplifying that up a bit, you'll just be left with y raised to the minus 1 third power. All right, the next thing is to write our utility maximizing condition and we can write it one of two ways. We can think of it as the marginal utility of good x divided by the price of good x will equal the marginal utility of good y divided by the price of good y or you could write it as we have here which is essentially the marginal rate of substitution the left hand side the marginal rate of substitution equals the ratio of the prices. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this condition here that I wrote on the left, and I'm just going to substitute in what we know. The price of good X is a dollar, price of good Y is two dollars. I'm going to substitute the marginal utility of good X in the numerator, and then likewise substitute the marginal utility of good Y in the numerator over here. So after making our substitutions, the marginal utility of good X divided by the price of good X, price of good X is one dollar, and then the marginal utility of good Y, which is written up here, we're going to divide all of that by the price of good Y, which is $2. Once we get this step here, we're going to simplify it, solve it for either Y or X. It really doesn't matter. Let's go on to the next slide. So just rewriting that last condition. And so the first thing I realize is that uh, we can get rid of this 1 down here since... Uh, Dividing something by 1 will just leave that something, so we're just going to rewrite the left-hand side like this. And then on the right-hand side, we got a 2 in the numerator and a 2 in the denominator, so they're going to cancel. And we'll have something like this. Uh, the next thing we can realize is that uh, we got a 3 on each side, so if we multiplied everything through by 3, the 3s would cancel. And now we have this step here. And then I'm just going to, I don't like negative exponents, so this x to the minus 2 thirds is, a sum, is the same thing as 1 divided by x to the 2 thirds. So moving this down into the denominator, we lose the minus sign. And then on the right-hand side of the equation, I don't like the negative exponent on y, so moving that down into the denominator, we lose the minus sign on the exponent on the y term. 
from here, we could just simply cross multiply. So y to the 1 third multiplied by y to the 2 thirds, and then x to the 2 thirds times x to the 1 third. We can now add up the exponents on the y and x terms, and you'll get this nice result, y equals x. We're going to take this y equals x and we're going to plug it into the budget constraint. Here's our budget constraint from the first slide. So where we see an x, we could plug a y, or where we see a y, since y equals x, we could plug an x. And so that's what I did here. Since y equals x, I'm going to turn this y into an x and now solve for x. So 3x equals 300. Dividing through by 3, x will equal 100. And since y equals x, plug this x equals to 100 back up here, y will equal 100. And that is our utility maximizing consumption bundle. All right, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.